Hey guys, what's going on? Um, yes, as you can see, got a longboard, but I'll talk about that in a second. First off, I'd like to say, please don't judge me. I am in my pajama pants, just chilling, and yes, they are Elmo pants, but nonetheless, they are sick. <clears throat> so, let's see what I got today. Just doing a little overview of my loaded, um, loaded tan TN longboard made in california as you can see i got the flex 2 all bamboo <clears throat> i believe all of the if not all most of the loaded longboards are bamboo <clears throat> um i it, like again uh if not all but most of the boards you can choose between flex 1 2 or 3 it all is on obviously the flex and how stiff the board is going to be Flex 2 is probably, I would have to say, the most popular. The weight limit on that is 210 pounds, I think. It's recommended like 150 to 210, something like that. Uh, Flex 3 is the most flexible, but that only holds to like 190, something like that. And then the Flex 1 is just like freaking stiff, and I don't know why anyone would want to buy that. So, <clears throat> first off, um, as you can see, I'll show you guys the bottom here got my stickers on it bought it from a local skate shop called Panutskis up here in Minnesota <clears throat> um, and yes I did pay probably about fifteen dollars more at the skate shop than I did at uh, than most people would online but the good side to that well the downside is I'm paying more <clears throat> but the good side is I have it that day and I don't have to pay shipping and I don't have to wait um, I still get the stickers and the better thing is I get to pick my trucks and my wheels <clears throat> and so I got the orangutan um, 70 millimeter wheels orange uh, now most of the longboards that I see on loaded.com they're yellow orangutan and they just come with like gray trucks I got the Paris trucks I don't know what these ones are called but they're like really weird but cool design black and white <clears throat> um so i really like the tan tian because of the bottom looks kind of sweet um so that's about it i got also um got the 90 degree edge wheels more for cruising a little bit wider too but nonetheless this thing can still freaking carve and uh this is definitely like the roughest grip tape I've ever seen or felt and it like it'll probably cut you if you tried it will cut you but I mean this is freaking grippy um so yeah let me get my camera down if it doesn't die hopefully it won't it's about to <coughs> alright oops oh spilling the camera alright I need a book Let that focus. Alright, there seems good. I'll do this. Kinda show you guys the turn on this. So, I had them keep my trucks pretty loose at this place. As you can see, the flex is pretty good. <clears throat> now, I'll turn it and show you guys the flex. Flex 2. And I weigh 180 pounds. So, as you can see, I can pretty much jump on that. Not gonna break. So, peace out. Please subscribe and watch out for my more uh, for more longboard videos. Mainly gonna be on my loaded. That's upside down, but whatever. Please subscribe. Thanks. Hey guys, quick thing, forgot to put this in the video, but I've had a couple of my friends ask me about the bottom of these. Um, like it, I said, it's made of bamboo. The bottom of the side makes it look like it's not made of bamboo. And some of my friends, like, I have like two friends who own one of these, and they're afraid to like, I sh like, watch my video on the flex test. It's really freaking flexible. <clears throat> but a lot of my friends are afraid to jump on this because they're afraid that these little things are going to split off and like crack and go everywhere and just get the fuck fucked up out of them I, I don't know what i'm saying here but 
Uh, anyways, um, by the way, I, I put those stickers on just so it doesn't come like that. But uh, you guys can see that right there. It's all bamboo. And then this little part, all this crap, is just that little piece of wood. It's just like pressed wood together. And then they just cut that to the shape of the longboard. And I glue that on just to give it a design rather than painting it, I guess, because they're cheap. But eh, whatever. Um, they're actually not cheap. <laughs> Uh, so, I also forgot to include the price. I'm sure some of you guys want to know the price. Um, this board was 320 plus tax online. I think it's 315 plus shipping. No tax online. But if you get it at a skate shop, usually they'll have the trucks and the wheels that you can custom and pick from, like how I said I did. And then you get these two stickers, which you get from online either way. <clears throat> One other thing I'd like to add, I just forgot that I was going to add, which I'm drawing a blank now. Oh yeah, but um, <clears throat> so I was talking to one of the guys at the skate shop, and yes, this is my first time owning a longboard, not my first time owning a skateboard, but when it comes to the longboards, I'm a beginner, but I mean, it's really easy to pick up on. <clears throat> so anyways, one of the guys who works there, he's been working there for a long time and seen a lot of people coming in and buy longboards and all that crap and uh he said that most beginners will go in buy like a cheap pintail sector 9 150 bucks you never know uh, a couple months in a couple months later they walk right in buy one of these because you know loaded is the best out there um they walk right in buy one of these so if you're a beginner and you want i got sorry about that my goddamn camera died again it just fucking eats batteries but like i was saying um this board most people would walk into the shop like i was talking to that guy they beginners buy the cheap little like 150 whatever dollar sector nines now i'm not ripping on sector nine obviously loaded are better but for the value for the price that sector nines are they are pretty good quality for what you're paying for and um so he said most of those kids he would remember they walk in there beginners buy that a couple months later they get better and they want something better they buy this and if you got the extra money to throw away into one of these do it do it do it do it do it do it this like i said this is my first longboard about like 300 some dollars cost me well worth it um because in the long run you're just going to be spending another 150 dollars more than you wanted to i mean you could resell it but you're definitely not going to get as much as you can and i also wanted to add <coughs> riding Let's see, I will make some videos on me riding this, but I was just, you know, messing with my wheel here, spinning it, and, I mean, this thing probably takes me three, four pumps, pumps meaning leg, like kicking my leg, you know, get it going, for those of you who don't know what that means, I guess, uh, for the beginners out there, but three pumps, three, four pumps takes me to get going, probably a good, like, 10 miles an hour i'm guessing i don't know it's whatever however fast i'm going it's fast for a longboard especially when you got the cruising wheels on it another thing for beginners if you want cruising you're going to want ones that have a 90 degree like a edge and it's not rounded right here and you're going to want them wider and even if you are curving or carving on them i'd still get wider because they're going to go over sticks and stones and pebbles and shit like that a lot easier and over time it will get it will get um, rounder anyways, or you could just take a sander around it yourself. I mean, that sounds dumb, but it's a lot smarter because this is going to be easier to go over shit on. And, I mean, you can still freaking slide with these. There's, like, no difference. So, anyways, I was talking about the three pumps, and going how some people rip on Sector 9, I mean, the bearings in this are just amazing. And I don't know if you can see that if my camera will zoom faster. Um, let's see if it focuses. Right. It's upside down. Orangutan wheels with sector nine bearings. Right there, there. Uh, oh no, focus. There you go. See that? So, there you have it. That is my little overview of the loaded Tantian. Comment, subscribe, rate, favorite, send me a message, post a comment, ask me a question, do whatever the hell you want. 
I mean, hell, go ahead, send me a message or comment if you want me to make a video especially for you. Like if you're, let's say you're really interested in buying this but you don't know and you want to know a little bit more or you want me to show you something, go ahead, man, I'll make you a video. Peace out, please subscribe.